Welcome to Imagine More with Thembi, surviving motherhood together, making it up as we go. Today was Primark day. I spent a lot of hours in Primark going from floor to floor. And there were four floors that I had to scour through. I like Primark because the prices are perfect to find things for the kids to go home with. We usually go to the States for summer and we're here a couple of weeks. I only pack for two weeks, even though we're there between four and six weeks. This year we're going for six weeks. Still, two weeks worth of clothes, if that. I've just gotten some t-shirts, tanks, shorts, slippers, sandals. So let's see what I got for each of the kids. First up is my oldest, he's 14. I do prefer going shopping with him because his tastes can change depending on his mood. So I just went basic for him. I uh, got him a couple of tanks, just three different colors, red, black, and blue, some vests as they call it here, or tank tops. Um, and then I got him some t-shirts. He always has lots of t-shirts, so I don't really need to get him a lot of t-shirts. I got him three, gray, white, and red. And some socks, black and white ankle socks, a pair of slippers, just to wear around the house because he doesn't like wearing slippers outside. Also, travel jeans because I always have them wear a pair of jeans on the plane. He hates jeans. Um, he is a fan of anything that is uh, drawstring waist, like sweatpants. Um, so in that light, that's why I got him these shorts. Um, first of all, the shorts here I find they're really short. Um, he's kind of tall and, and lanky and lean. And um, I, I like his shorts to kind of come down to his knees. And the, I find the shorts here in the UK for males are... Kind of short and i don't shop for him in boys i shop for him in men's and so i have him wear like an extra small in men's or size 20 to 30 waist because he's very slender and i lucked out because i found these drawstring waist shorts and they're not sweatpants they do have sweatpants material but these are kind of like a lightweight linen kind of so i got him in black and gray and blue and he has other shorts so um he should be fine for the summer so that's the oldest, he's done. So next up is my youngest, Eli. He is six years old. And I heard in someone's vlog, a mom vlog, I said I was gonna be trying new things. And a mom said when she's packing, she usually kind of coordinates the stuff so that, you know, it can go with a couple of different looks. Cause usually I match the outfits together and I get upset because my kids are like, mix everything up. And so that goes down the drain very fast. But this way, if I did the color coordinated outfits, then they, Pick and choose whatever he wants to wear and most of the time it'll go. The only thing I didn't get in that vein is um, this red t-shirt, but I got a couple of blue bottoms, which he can wear with that. So I got him some denim shorts, some, what do they call these, chinos, some blue ones for when he goes to church and stuff, um, along with that red t-shirt. So the rest of the stuff is kind of Oh, and a, a pair of jeans, one pair of jeans for the summer. If he travels with this on the plane, if we go somewhere for dinner at night and it's chilly, boom, he's got this. Um, and then I got him these denim khakis, chino khakis, a pair of black shorts, and then the t-shirts that kind of could go and coordinate with either of these. This one has a couple of green flecks in there. So the theme is kind of army khaki colored that can um a military vibe that i'm dealing with right now i don't know what's going on except for this one i kind of like this one that one's my favorite so i got him those and then he has some slippers and sandals and i also got him these kind of green and blue because that actually works out perfect because he wears a lot of green and blue a pair of socks and a hat for the summer i also got him a pair of sunglasses that i can't find right now but he has a pair of sunglasses because he's always asking for sunglasses. So that's my youngest and he's done. And last but not least is my daughter Anjali. She's 11. Specifically, she asked me for shorts. Also, I found that in Primark, or maybe it's just in general, and I'm just old school, but I just find the shorts for these kids are super short, especially for the girls. They're like thigh, uh, bike, booty short, or what do they call them? I don't even know, this is way too short. Shorts I wouldn't even wear. She's kind of like me and she kind of likes a little more conservative. So I did find some shorts and she's a size, and the sizes there are a little bit smaller so I always go up one or two sizes depending on the look that I want. Um, this is 13, 14, she's 11, but still a little short. And um, she tried them on and she had bikers on underneath because she always wears the little biker shorts underneath. 
and uh, they're still a little short, but with bikers, I feel more comfortable. So I got her these little cute little flouncy thingies. Um, this. Um, doesn't this look small to you? It's a size 13, 14. But the reason I got it was it can be adjusted and so it can be baggy and, and hang down loose. But still cute. Um, and then I got some tights. Uh, and of course her long jeans so she can wear during the summer. Um, same story. Now because I couldn't find a lot of shorts, what I'm going to do is I bought these long stretchy and we're just going to cut them half and she can just roll them up and cuff them up and three pairs of shorts right there. She also loves these flowy pants and I thought these were really cute. Um, they only had this one in her size. They had a cute black and white one but and it has the um, elastic bottoms. And so they're nice and cool for the summer. They're lightweight. So those are her bottoms. Got her some socks, uh, a hat, and some tank tops. This I actually got from the women's, but I thought it was really cute. I got it in a size zero. And another tank top to match the pink shorts. And just a couple of cute t-shirts. Weekend vibe. There's never enough sparkle. She's into unicorns, and there were so many different unicorn things there, but I was afraid because I wasn't sure how much unicorn to get her. Um, and a little butterfly. And these aren't bad for a pound 80 each. Um, and then my favorite, sorry, not sorry. And then I found a couple of slippers. These were actually together. So it's two pair for £2.50, and they have unicorns on them. And then this is my best buy for her. Two sandals. Um... What size are they? Oh, eight pounds each. But the good part is they're leather. And for her, that is important because she will bust through a pair of anything because she's very rough on her shoes. But yep, so that's my daughter. And that's my Primark shop. I'm just so impressed. Like we got, I got all this stuff for the summer and such great prices. The t-shirts a pound 80 each, a hat, three pounds, you know, bottoms for my son. 10 pounds. I think the most I spent on any one item was 12 pounds and those were the shorts for my son. But it was just because he is no longer, I guess, a junior size. Um, he wears male, adult male. And so that's why they were so expensive. Anyway, so that's my shopping at Primark when I had, I wouldn't say fun, but um, I feel accomplished and I feel like I've done something important here and um, so I will be showing you how I pack for the summer and another video and going through the steps and process of getting organized and prepared for summer packing all right thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed hope this inspires you to go out and get you some Primark shopping bargains for yourself and for your family and remember to speak life speak love speak truth I'll see you next time. Bye.